What's up YouTube, it's your boy Matrix21 here with another video and uh, we're going to do a little review here. Uh, like I told you, if you watched my last video, you saw that uh, I pulled a Mewtwo out of one of my boxes and I told you I'll give you a review of it. So, let's get to it. So, we're going to be reviewing this Mewtwo here. One of my favorite Pokemon, period. I would love to get like a 6 inch Lugia, that would be my second. But, had to get this guy, really cool pop. Uh, I know they have a 10 inch coming out of this. And uh, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think I'm gonna get the 10-inch version. This is a, but this is a really, really cool pop. Standard uh, Pokemon box, you know, like you have the leaves and everything here. Yeah, like the psychic abilities on this one. Uh, so it's really cool, really cool. You know, the one thing I wish they could incorporate with these Pokemon is like their number. Put it like somewhere on the box or somewhere on like the back of, you know, the card in the back or something. That would be pretty cool. But I like this guy a lot. This is a pretty tall pop. But uh, you'll get to see that when I take it out of the box. But definitely a cool pop. Definitely one to have, it, have in your collection, especially if you collect Pokemon. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get this bad boy out of the box and see how cool it is. Be right back. So, here we have Mewtwo out of the box. And like I said, this is a pretty tall pop. Uh, let me see if I can find one for comparison. Uh, I was using my Mr. Freeze, so, Mr. Freeze. Definitely a much taller pop. But enough for Mr. Freeze here. We're all about Mewtwo. Level of detail is crazy in this guy. It looks exactly like the Pokemon it's supposed to look. Uh, I'm really I'm really happy with this one. It's a nice big stand. I got a little chip on my stand, but it's all good. Nice big stand on it. Had to do that so can, this guy can stand up. The color on it, the paint is uh, amazing. No paint flaws at all. Yeah, this is a really cool pop. They even got this the little cord thing perfectly, his tail perfect. Yeah, I like this guy a lot. I was just watching like a, a custom version of this being made, and uh, man, to actually have it is pretty cool. I like this guy a lot, man. This is def easily, the, easily one of my favorite Pokemon pops, period. Um, just gotta have this guy. If you, <laughs> if you hadn't got this yet, please go ahead and get it. Uh, I think it's a common, so. The, Price is not high on them. You can find these just about any. Well, I guess you can't find them just about anywhere right now unless you order <laughs> online. But yeah, this is really cool pop. I'm glad I picked this guy up. I hate it got damaged in the mail, but it's all good. Um, I like the seller the seller pack, packaged it really well with the bubble wrap and everything. So yeah. But I love the way they, the stance they went with this one. This guy, it gives you that whole. Okay, this is a fierce Pokemon uh, look like it a lot. Uh, they could have wanted to just the standard pose, but they didn't. And I'm kind of happy about that. Uh, they kind of, I'm glad they didn't really mess with his proportions because his body looks exactly how it should be. The head is a lot bigger than it would be, but it look, it fits. It's a really nice pop and real nice figure. And I'm going to keep this guy out of the box and I'm going to just buy a second one just for, you know, just for the heck of it and keep one out of the box. One the rock and one the stock, right? <laughs> But it's a cool pop nonetheless, and I'm uh, glad to have this in the collection. So uh, let's get a little bit closer before we end this. Okay, like I said, it's, it's a fairly simple pop, but the details are really, really cool. They uh, really made this guy really well. And like I said, you can see the colors are perfect. No um, paint flaws or anything. It's a really cool pop. That menacing look on his face. So I'm going to get one more spin, and I'm going to end the video. So once again, this is my review for uh, the Pokemon Mewtwo. A uh, really cool pop. Glad to have this guy in the collection. I'm, I'm just really, I really, I really happy to have this guy. This is a really cool pop. They did the design of this guy very well. 
And uh, I'm glad I'm glad they finally did this guy. And it lets me know that they may be going for more complicated Pokemon designs. So fingers still crossed for a six inch Lugia. Hopefully we get it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pretty cool. And uh, I I do like the way they did the box. Here's the the back card with the little psychic looking um, pattern on it. Uh, yeah, just a really cool pop nonetheless. Pokemon number one hundred and fifty Mewtwo or Pop Games number five eighty one. The Mewtwo pop. Uh, so if you like this video, hit that like button. Comment below. Let me know how you feel about me doing this. Like um, dropping like the haul video and then kind of going individually in, in, inside of those pops and picking out ones to do like fuller, more detailed reviews on. Cause I think this is my the format I'm going to be going from now on. So I'll show you like one video of everything I picked up. Then I'll break it down from there from in the smaller videos. I think that's how I'll do. Maybe do like a haul video once a week. Yeah. And then just uh, do like individual reviews after that. That may be a thing to go. But I uh, also share this video as well. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're at 181, I think. Closer and closer to that 200 mark. So I do this giveaway. And I'm just I'm excited about that. Almost 200 subscribers. Man, this is amazing. And I'm very grateful for everybody that subscribes to my channel. It's, it's really cool. And I'm glad you all like my the content I'm putting out. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you a lot. And uh, hit that notification bell so you know every time I drop a video. This is Major 21. Peace. Talk to you all later. Bye.